Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Morning Mindset. I am so glad you are taking this time to get your mind aligned with the truth of God for today. You know, more and more people are finding that necessary in their lives as the busyness of life threatens to overtake them. I received an email just this last week from someone who serves as a nurse in a large ICU, an intensive care unit. Thank you so much for doing that, my friend. And he says he sees death, destruction, sorrow, grief, joy, and so much more every day at his workplace. And naturally, those days can be very difficult. And he's saying the morning mindset is a small piece of God's word that sometimes is all he has to push him through some of the toughest choices when life and death are on the line. Man, can you imagine such a lifestyle? I'm so thankful God is using the morning mindset to be a blessing. And my friends, those of you who are partners, especially you are helping the morning mindset to happen. If you're interested in becoming a partner, you can look at the description in your podcast player right now and find a way that you can do that. And if not, just continue sharing the morning mindset with people who you know, who you know might benefit. This short devotional is having a huge impact across the world. Let's go back to looking at those Christmas gifts that we have been given by God through Jesus Christ. Yesterday's episode, we looked at the book of Galatians chapter 3, where Paul is telling us that we were given a freedom from being under the guardianship of the law. And we're going to continue with that thought to look at an extension of that gift, and it's in Galatians chapter 4. Beginning in verse 1, Paul continues with the illustration. He says, I mean that the heir, as long as he is a child, is no different from a slave, though he is the owner of everything. But he's under guardians and managers until the date set by his father. In the same way, we also, when we were children, were enslaved to the elementary principles of the world. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law to redeem those who were under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you're no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, an heir through God. Now, there are two amazing gifts that are mentioned here. And before we get into them, let me just speak to those of you who are female it might be a little off-putting to you that this just says son, we're, we're made sons, but keep in mind the day in which Paul lived and what he's trying to communicate here. Paul is trying to tell us that we are given the primary place of inheritance. That was the place of a son in his day. And so he's saying that is true for anyone who places their faith in Christ, male, female, Jew, Gentile, slave, free, doesn't matter. And so please don't hear it as off-putting hear it as including, because that's Paul's intention. Now, what are those two gifts that I notice here in this passage? Well, the first is adoption. Adoption into the family of God. I mean, how does it sound to have God himself, the loving, gracious, just, righteous, holy uh, creator of the entire universe as your father? Some of us can't imagine that because we didn't have fathers anything like that. Some of us may have had a pretty good father. And so we have some idea of what that may be like. But we literally, truly have been adopted into the family of God through our faith in Jesus Christ. And Paul says here in Galatians chapter four, that that happened when the fullness of time had come and God sent forth his son, born of a woman. That is Christmas. That is what we're celebrating when we sing Christmas carols and we watch Christmas movies and we have the eggnog and the the meal on Christmas Day, we are celebrating that God sent a gift to us, the gift of his son, the gift of adoption into his family. My friends, go today knowing that you are a son or a daughter of God. You have been given the place of primary inheritance, which is the second thing I notice here. We are now heirs of God. What in the world does that mean? It's a gift beyond comprehension. And you and I enjoy that gift this Christmas season. My friends, please tell someone else about the morning mindset. And join me again tomorrow for another gift of Christmas.